Peace to you, my family in Christ, and welcome to another devotion. Our meditation comes today from Psalm 129, 1 to 2. A song for going up to the temple. All my life, enemies have attacked me. Say it again, Israel. All my life, enemies have attacked me, but they have never defeated me. The word of God to the people of God. What a motivation going up to the temple. What a motivation going into the presence of God for the Israelites during those days. They were pondering how good God has been to us. And this reminds us today, even as we wake, even as we begin to go about our daily chores, we must be pondering, we must be considering how good God is to us. It motivates us to praise. It motivates us to give thanks. Yes, we're in a battle for our lives. Things are difficult, but we must consider what God is doing what he has done, the fact that he is faithful to the very end, never lost a battle. He is victorious. He is God Almighty. As we put that in our spirits, as we put it in our minds, it causes us to praise God. Because like the Israelites did, they said the enemy attacked every day, all day, but they never defeated them. What is our testimony today? Are we under attack? Yes, we are. How are we handling it? Are we giving in? Are we submitting to the enemy? Are we doing what he's saying? Or are we standing fast in the liberty where Christ has made us free and speaking the words of God, declaring his goodness, praising him no matter what? Because at the end of the day, if God be for us, who can be against us? Once we name the name of Christ, we are under attack. The enemy of our soul will attack us. So the redeemed of the Lord must depart from iniquity. We must touch not, handle not, resist the devil, draw nigh to God. He will draw nigh to us. We are called to sanctify ourselves and not be entangled again with the yoke of bondage. We are under attack. We are under siege by the enemy. But the Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. And so we must stand fast. So as we come into the presence of God today, let's consider no matter how difficult it might be, how challenging, let's declare that God is with us. We will never be defeated. The enemy will not have us, will not have our children, we're not of our generation because God is with us. Father, thank you. As we enter your presence today, as we sing praises unto you, as we declare your goodness, we give the enemy notice that he has no part in us, that he will not come nigh us, that he will not overcome us, and he will not have our children, nor our generation. But our hope is in you, the God who keeps us, the God who protects us, the God who makes us see the unseen, hear those things even though they are not. We give you praise today. Our hope, our confidence, our assurance is in you. And so, let the redeemed say so today, that God is with us, and he is our protection, he's our shield, he's our hope. We could run to him and be saved. Thank you today. Thank you for all that you're doing. For those who lead the nations this morning, including our prime minister and all of parliament and families, we commend them to you. We say, God, have your way. May they too seek worship 
and praise to our God. Even though they are under attack, they are under siege, may they too seek to give glory to you. Those who lead in society, we commend you today. Have your way, O oh Father. We give you thanks for the peace of Jerusalem. Cause the hearts of your people, even now in war, to be at peace. We pray for those who lost loved ones. We pray, God, your will be done. And they will look continually to you for whence come and their help. They have come from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Peace, even now, upon families everywhere today. And let the redeemed, let the believers, let those who know the name of Christ, depart from iniquity, touch not hand of us. Let us indeed be strong in you and in your power and your might. This we pray in the name of the Father and of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you. Know that the enemy is not for us. He is against us. But also know that God is for us. We are victorious in the name of Jesus. Have a great day in the Lord. Amen. 